Hi, this is Will from StormyCastle.com, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a little bit about a refractor telescope and how it works. A refractor telescope is different from a reflector, and if you want to know about a reflector, I also have a tutorial on that. Um, just check my, check my channel page. Um, <coughs> this, is <your> basic <coughs> excuse me. this is your basic refractor telescope, and the big thing here is that at the top of the telescope there's a big lens. Uh, you can see that on the chart here. There's a big lens at the top of the telescope. So uh, light comes in, is bent by that lens to a secondary lens, which is your eyepiece, and that's the eyepiece here. So um, that's pretty much what happens. So you have two lenses in your telescope, uh, a primary and a secondary. The primary gathers as much light as possible, and the secondary does the magnification. So if you want to kind of zoom in or get more power, you would use a different eyepiece. And that's a big thing about um, eyepieces are they're replaceable in telescopes. So you get different powers, like this one's 50 power, and I have another one here that's 100 power. So I would just replace that out to get a better look. So let's take a look at the scope. It's on a little tripod here. Here's the tube assembly. Here's the dew cover. And this is important. The lens on this scope is actually here. And this dew cap here will um, help the telescope adjust to changes in temperature and humidity. So when you take it outside, it helps the lens from getting uh, fogged up. So the tube assembly, your little finder telescope. You would use that to originally, to initially find what you're looking for in the sky, and then you look through the scope. There's the adjustment knob. Move that back and forth to focus. So it's pretty simple. Reflect, refractor telescope is a pretty simple setup. And um, this is on an Alp azimuth model, which means it goes up and down or side to side. So it's just a basic, simple um, telescope. One more thing is this prism here. This is either a prism or a mirror. The light comes in, it bounces off of that, and goes out the eyepiece, and that makes it easy to look in. If um, you were looking at something high in the sky, if the eyepiece were here, it'd be difficult. You'd have to squat down to look with the with the prism. It makes it much more comfortable. So that's all that is. So that's the basics of a refractor telescope. Not a whole lot to it. Um, if you want uh, more astronomy stuff or more lots of different other projects, I have all kinds of fun stuff on my website at strongthecastle.com. Um, thanks.